Hello and welcome to CNN News 18 with me Ayushman Singh Jamwal and welcome to the late night edition. We're getting some breaking news at the top of the bulletin as the shadow of terror continues to loom over Jammu and Kashmir. Union Home Minister Amit Shah will visit JNK's Rajouri district and take stock of the ground situation. Shah will arrive in Rajouri at around 12 noon tomorrow and interact with the families of the victims. Home Minister Amit Shah's visit comes days after the twin terror attacks that left seven people including two children dead in Rajouri. Now after meeting the families, Amit Shah will also chair a key security meet on the security grid in the Union territory. That's the piece of break news that's coming in at the top of the bulletin. Amit Shah will take stock of the situation in Jammu and Kashmir. He will be in Rajouri tomorrow. He will arrive around 12 noon and interact with the families of the victims. Uh, Home Minister Amit Shah's visit comes, as I was saying, days after the twin terror attacks that left seven people dead, including two children. I'm joined by my colleague Arunima on the phone line. Arunima, uh, give us a breakdown of the Home Minister's agenda. He will start off by meeting uh, the family members of the Rajori victims. There's a lot of anger in Rajori because uh, the terrorists responsible for the act are uh, still absconding. Uh, there have been threats uh, in this area of Rajori and Punch. Repeated intelligence inputs suggest that Jammu Division and these areas of Jammu, Rajori, Punch, the main city area, these could be the new target for lashkar e Toiba, TRF, and jaish e uh, So, Home Minister's visit will not just be from the security point of view, but also uh, that healing touch from the political leadership, trying to assuage uh, the hurt sentiments of people there, telling them that the Indian government and the Indian establishment is very much with them. So that's part one of his uh, visit. Part two is taking a review with the security grid, where a presentation is likely to be met, made by Jammu and Kashmir police about the situation. Uh, the paramilitary forces, BSF, CRPF, uh, the defense forces and the intelligence agencies will all be part of that deliberation. Essentially, the focus will be whether more boats on the ground are needed uh, in wake of these intelligence about terrorists trying to target peace in Jammu Division.